Hello everyone. So in this video, let us talk about an easy problem from Lead Code. The problem name is complement of base 10 integer. So as you can see here, that you actually are given an integer and you have to find out its complement. Okay, now what its actual complement is that you have to take that number, represent it in the bit format. So if you can see that 5 is represented at bit format is 101. And then you have to flip every bit. Okay, so if it is one, it will become zero. If this is zero, it will become one, zero, one, and so on. So every bit is flipped, and whatever new number that is formed is the complement of the actual number. Okay, that is the whole thing that you have to print out, and that's it. Nothing much complicated in itself. Now, uh, there are multiple approaches to solve this particular problem out, but the overall simple way is that iterate over every bit of that number one by one and just check that what is that bit actually. It is zero or one. If it is zero, in the new number, make it one, and if it is one, make it zero. Pretty much simple. So uh, now the other problem is that how can you trade over all the bits of the number one by one? First of all, that how can you check the ith bit value? Second of all, that and after checking upon that as well, how can you make the new number? So these are the three problems actually you have to understand to solve this particular problem out. Let's talk about them one by one. First of all, how can you find out? how many bits are there in the actual number can how can we convert a number to its binary representation it's pretty much simple what you can do is that whatever number you have binary means like zero or one so it consists of either zero or one so what you can easily do is that if you have understood and if you have learned about binary representation or how can you convert that you will keep on dividing that number by two until it becomes zero because if it has some value, you can represent it as a bit. Okay. So let's say I have five. I will keep on dividing it by two. I will first divide it by two. Whatever is the remainder is the actual bit value. So as you can see, if I divide it by two, it will become as you can see two and the remainder is one. And again divide by two, two divided by two, it becomes zero and the remainder is one. So the answer it the remainder is zero and, and the value that is remaining is one. I divide by 2, it becomes 0 and become 1. So whenever I reach 0, that is no number I can divide any further. Whatever is on the, you can say here, is the actual bit representation from bottom to up, that is 101. That is the bit representation. So I will just keep on dividing that number by 2 until it becomes 0. And whatever number of bits I will get is the actual number of bits that it will have in the bit representation. So that's what I've done in this function, as you can see. Take the n what is the length of the number bit, bits it has keep on dividing that n by you can say uh, dividing it by 2 it will keep on dividing you have to do a while loop and at each step if it is still not 0 if it is not 0 this while loop will keep on going and will increment the length value and after this whenever this n will become 0 you will break out of this while loop and you have the total number of length that is the length of the total number of bits it has in its bit representation, re representation of n okay now you have the value that is this how can you check what is the ith value like ith bit for that you have to do an and operation okay so and operation what you will do is that you will take uh, what you can do is that to find out whether the ith bit is set or not what you will do is you will make a new number let's say i want to check that whether this bit is set so i will make a new number in which only this bit is set and all the others are zero how can you make that I will make using this one left shift. Let's say this is the second uh, zero bit, one bit, second bit. So this is the second bit. So left shift to two times. If I shift, so let's say I have zero and I have shifted one two times, it will come to this position. This is just like shifting it, shifting one. One means that I am shifting this one two times to the two times on the left side. So it, it will come here, everything is zero. So what it will become is it will become one zero zero. In the bit representation okay this is not 100 it is bit representation one zero so if i have any number here if i do an and operation and operation means that if both of these values are one then only it will become something or it will become or else it will become zero because if it is zero then if it even it has one it will become zero because and operator means that both of the bits should be uh, you can say uh both should be set now if both of them are not set it will become eventually zero so how can you tell that whether a particular bit is set if it is one or not if it is zero then if i somehow bring a one and do an and operator with it it will still become zero and all the numbers will be zero 
So if the final answer after doing an AND operation of N, that is the, the value that I'm looking for, and the ith bit, how can I check, how can I make a number to check the ith bit? I will make this number, do an AND of it. If it is zero, then it means that the number is unset. If it is some positive value, then it means that it is set. So I will just check that. If it is zero, so that is how I can check the whether the bit is set or not set. Okay, that is the second question that is done. The third question is that after knowing that, how can I like make a new number? I have to just make a new number such that I have to only, uh, you can say, make a number in which all the values will be zero, and I will only flip those bits which is you can say zero in the original one or the original number. So this is zero in the original number. So I will only flip this bit that I will only make it one. So I will just check that in the original number, whatever bit is zero that is unset. I will make only that bit set in the original number. How can I make a bit set in the original number? I will do an OR operator. So for that particular position, this number is actually used to go to a particular position, a particular bit in a number. If I do an OR operator, then that actually bit, bit will become set. This will make used to set a bit. This is used to check a bit whether it is set or not. And this is used to find out the number of bits. Number. So I have covered all the three major properties on how to actually solve and find out in a single problem. So you can revisit, you can also check out Geeks for Geeks other uh, post as well. So if you want to read more, but that's all the logic that you have to first find out the number of bits in a number, iterate over all the bits using a for loop, then check out that whether the ith bit is set or not. If it is not set, then in the actual number, that the new number that I want to find the answer number, make that bit set using the or operator. That's it. That's the complete logic and code part for this particular problem in the end you'll spend it out. So this is one while loop that is, this will be a while loop because it will be doing just a while loop in an exponential time because it is like dividing it every, every time. So it will be O of log n. This is O of n because just a for loop, O of n. So the overall time complexity will become O of n. But n is also very small because it is like number of bits only in a number. The number of bits is act maximum. If you can see here, the number of maximum bits you can check here is 10 to 1, 9. So like, uh, so not, so number 10 to 1, 9. So it will, it will be still very small. So you can just understand that uh, it will be done in a very like constant time. only, And that's it. That's the complete logic and the good part for this particular problem. If you still have any doubts, you can mention in the comment box for this particular video. I will see you in the next one coding and bye.